Hello, my beautiful family. I am back once again. I just said, let me be giving it to you guys back to back, back to back. Thank you so much and Happy New Year once more. Okay, let's talk about certain things that bother people a lot. I want to tell you one of the ways that you hinder your blessings from God. You need to know. Even me. Although this is not really my lifestyle, doesn't mean I'm perfect, but I am not that type who complains a lot. It's, it's not my life. It's not my... It's not my style, but you know, it doesn't make me a saint. No one is a saint, okay? But let's touch that, which hinders our blessings from God, and that is complaining. Complainants, people that complain a lot, and complain, in quotes. It is a very bad thing to always and constantly complaining. The more you complain in life, the more you chase your blessings away. Like I tell people, this is what I believe in. And that's how it works, whether you believe with me or not. Whenever you've already prayed to God for something, believing and hoping that God will answer you, then along the line, something happened because the devil will always knock on, on everybody's door to tempt you. Along the line, you start having you, you start having issues with maybe a neighbor, a friend, or whatsoever, I don't know. And you are forced to quarrel. You are forced to fight. You are forced to cross. The moment you are doing all these things, your blessings are moving far, far away from you. I always tell people this, please. There is this thing about silence. It is very powerful. It might seem like you're a coward, but believe you me, you are never a coward. Anyone you see that is always silent or quiet whenever you are talking trash about them. Majority of the time, they choose not to hear you. They just walk away. They just leave that scenario. They just leave that premises. And you think they are coward. My dear, they are not coward. Like I tell people, if you know there is something you are hoping and believing on God to do for you, disease from quarreling, disease from locking up your house and having evil thoughts against another person, disease from cursing, shouting and screaming, not to talk of fighting. These are the things that hinder God's blessings in our lives. I am going to teach you in a spiritual way how to stop all these things and be able to begin to attract your blessings. Because the truth is, our blessings are always there for us. Like, okay, let me give you an example. It's like where God calls, for example, Angel Michael and tell Angel Michael to go and deliver a blessing to maybe one blessing or one Ukichi or one Sandra. Then, just picture this thing that I'm telling us. Just picture this story. Then, Angel Michael will carry your blessing. The moment he gets to your doorstep or wherever you are, he sees you screaming, fighting, backing, shaking, um, shouting, complaining, lamenting. What do you think will happen? The angel will never drop that blessing for you. Because picture this. Even in real life. Okay, let's just say we that are human beings. Assuming you call someone, let me just say you call John by name and ask John for a favor and John say, okay, don't worry, I'll see what I can do for you without telling you I am giving it to you immediately because we are human beings, okay? Maybe John said, I'll see what I can do for you and hang up the phone. Then you didn't know that John has already sent maybe his servant, his colleague, his son, his daughter, his friend, who, whoever. He has already sent that person and asked the person to take that which you ask to you. It could be money, it could be foodstuffs, it could be a job, it could be anything. Then picture this story and that person John sent now carried the blessing to come and deliver to you and met you lamenting and talking bad about John, saying things like, I've been begging John to give me something. I don't know why he doesn't want to give it to me anyway because he feels he's rich, because he feels he's better than uh, anybody, because he feels my situation is bad. God, I don't even know why I'm suffering. Why must you even bless only John? Who does he think he is? Now, what do you think will happen? Of course, that person John sent to deliver that thing to you is a messenger. The moment that messenger hears all this is, that messenger will carry the blessing and turn back. And when he or she gets back, he will tell John, this is what I heard him saying. I am sorry I couldn't deliver the, the money. I couldn't deliver the, the good news of the job. I couldn't deliver that which you gave me to give to him. 
and of course it will linger because John will take back what belongs to him until until you show that you have completely changed by not cursing by not doing all the all sorts of things maybe along the line later later in years John might decide to change his mind or it mustn't even be John anymore another person might choose to bless you now when you listen to these two stories that I just gave us now you can imagine how it feels each time our guardian angels will come down to deliver a blessing they will meet you cursing they will meet you shouting they will meet you lamenting now complaining doesn't help anyone fighting doesn't help anyone because at the end of the day he still did not solve the problem it still did not solve the problem. So these are the things that hinder us our, ble our blessings from God. So this new year 2024, my YouTube lovely family, promise us right now that you will stop cursing. You will stop fighting. You will stop complaining, lamenting. You are going to stop all these things so that you will begin to see your blessings. We've been saying that our blessings are being delayed, but we never knew that we are the ones delaying all our blessings. By the time you get to know that you are the one delaying your blessings, you will change your mindset. I know it's not easy to change a human being's mindset, but if I can talk you through it to change your mindset, to stop harboring evil, stop, uh, stop lamenting and complaining, instead of complaining, use that time of your complaints and begin to praise God, begin to thank God. And even if anybody asks you, how are you feeling? Tell them, I know my God is still on the throne for me. I know God will come. God knows exactly what I need and he will answer me in due time. Learn how to confess positively because when you are so positive, your life will continually move in a positive way. Even when there's obstacle, your positivity will knock it off. Complaining doesn't help anyone. So many of us have gone through a lot and is still going through a lot. Even if it's health, maybe you don't have your health. Stop complaining. Instead, begin to confess positively. I am healed. Why did God say, why did Jesus tell us that? We should say, I am healed. I am rich. Have you heard? I'm sure we all know that music. I am healed. I am rich. I am strong. It is better you start making all these declarations that you are rich. If you constantly tell yourself you are rich, of course, everything good richness will begin to pursue you if you constantly confess that you are strong and healthy the way your healing will come you in fact it will you will be amazed how it will happen to you you'll be shocked you know then the moment you continually confess that you are strong you are well you are rich you are happy these are positive thoughts Gradually, it will begin to change your mindset. You will begin to think of positive things instead of negative things. Forget about anything you've, you've had with some people or someone in the past. Leave them in the past, okay? Just move on. Even if you have somebody you've quarreled with, confess to God that you have truly forgiven that person from your heart so that your doors will begin to be open for you. Now, here's the thing about forgiving people, people that are, um, are enemies, for example, people that hurt you. Forgiving doesn't mean you should go back to them. There is no way we are telling you to forgive and go back to them. No, you forgive in your heart by confessing it to God that you have forgiven this person, then move on with your life. You don't have to bring them back into your life. You don't have to be into their life. Just move on. Let your heart be open. Let everything be clear. Let there be no roadblocks in your life. Then watch how your blessings will begin to fall. Should anybody hate you, let them continue to help you. I mean, come on, that's none of your business. Your business is to continually pos position your mind to always think of positive thoughts so that positivity will begin to, to, to pursue you and follow you everywhere all the days of your life. Okay, so remember, like I said, these are the hindrances that makes us not to receive our blessings from God. So when you change your mindset by stopping to lament, stopping all these negative thoughts, you will begin to see your blessing. Then you will know it is actually good to think positivity because I know we are human beings. Sometimes negative thoughts will creep into your mind, but try to push it away with a positive thought by believing and hoping on God and always thank him for answered prayers even before you see anything 
you will see how you like you how your life will turn around so this year i am congratulating you and i am together joining with you pushing that positive thought into your mind pushing that positive thought into your subconsciousness so that positive things will begin to happen in your life so god bless everyone and i'm spreading my positivity here and i'm saying again happy new year happy new year happy new year this new year started started very well and i am so excited i can't wait for a lot of good things to begin to unfold for now it's been marvelous thank you so much guys i'm excited and i'm so happy and thank you for joining me i'm gonna bring another interesting topic next time but for now i have to say goodbye and have a beautiful evening